What color was Irish setters originally, before they acquired a solid red color? Watch to the end and find out the answer to the question. The Irish setter is a high-spirited gun dog with a brilliant red coat, elegance, and speed. The Irish setter despite being a gun dog at the same time became a great family dog. His gentle nature and warm attitude towards family members and his owner earned him wide recognition among dog breeders. Hello and welcome to a channel about zoology in general and dogs specifically. My name is Beardy and I'm one of the hosts of this channel. I'm going to provide you with all the information about the Irish setter. If you like me and the content about lovely animals please subscribe to my channel. I promise, if you stick to the end of this video you will learn a lot. Let us start right now. It is impossible not to note how beautiful this dog is built. Remarkable external forms are complemented by a deep red color, which is the hallmark of this breed of dog. In addition to all of the above, its powerful limbs allow it to achieve high speeds and excellent maneuverability, which helps the Irish setter both in hunting and in sports. The breed was formed quite a long time ago, and for the past 200 years, it has been pleasing its owners with excellent qualities. Irish setters love to be active and make new friends. Their loving nature appeals to many lovers of the breed. Dogs of this breed respond well to positive training and make wonderful companions to their owners both in hunting, sports, and in everyday life. Irish setters range in height from 61 to 71 centimeters, males weigh from 29 to 34 kilograms, and females from 25 to 29 kilograms. There are two categories of Irish setters, show dogs and field dogs. Irish setter show dogs are bigger, heavier, and have a thicker coat than field dogs. Both varieties conform to the breed standard, which is a written description of how a dog should appear and behave. The Irish setter should retain his innate capacity to be a gun dog, regardless of size or coat. Irish setters get along well with other dogs and children and will eagerly greet guests. However, do not forget that being a hunting dog, the Irish setter can show its instincts in relation to the surrounding animals. If you generally lead a sedentary lifestyle, then the Irish setter breed is not for you. He requires regular outdoor walks with complementary activities, such as sports and intellectual exercise. Keep in mind that before you can let your Irish setter off the leash, you must teach him to obey a basic set of commands. Without this practice, your Irish setter may well disobey you and run away uncontrollably. As a guard dog, the Irish setter is practically useless, as in general it is not inclined to show aggression or suspicion towards strangers. It is far better to use the Irish setter as a therapy dog. His innate characteristics are much better displayed in the calm environment of a hospital, where he can exercise his natural capacity for love and empathy for those in need. Irish setters form strong bonds with the humans in their lives and might experience severe separation anxiety. When they are left alone for more than a few hours, they become quite unhappy, and this sadness frequently leads to destructive actions. Irish setters are not good outside dogs and should be kept indoors with their family. The first mention of setters can be found in sources from 1570. This is a very old breed. Of course, at that time the ancestors of today's setter did not have all the qualities that we see in modern dogs. However, the intelligence and propensity to work were already built into the breed at that time. Initially, the Irish setter was used as a hunting dog, specializing in finding and working with waterfowl. Thanks to its excellent instinct, the Irish setter easily detects the location of ducks in the most inaccessible places for the hunter. Irish setters are typically healthy dogs, and careful breeders test their breeding stock for diseases like hip dysplasia and eye problems. Irish setters, like other large, deep-chested breeds, can develop bloat, a sudden and life-threatening enlargement of the abdomen. Owners should become familiar with the signs and what to do if bloat occurs. The ears of an Irish setter should be examined for symptoms of illness on a regular basis, and the teeth should be cleaned often with a toothpaste designed for dogs. The coat is red or chestnut in color and is quite long and smooth. In winter, the Irish setter grows a thicker undercoat, which allows the dog to be more effectively warm in cold weather. Small but regular grooming is essential for Irish setters to keep their coats shining. Combing the coat twice a week on average should be enough to achieve the goal. For combing, two types of combs are used, metal for primary processing and plastic or wooden for final touches. Once a month, the nails should be clipped. Washing the coat with shampoo is possible, if desired, to give the dog a gloss and freshness. Irish setters, like most sporting breeds, require a lot of daily activity. Long daily walks and play sessions with their owners might help them achieve this. Irish setters like spending time with their family. The breed also keeps its mind and body in shape by engaging in dog sports like obedience, tracking, agility, rally, and other activities that both the dog and the owner enjoy. The Irish setter is a joyful, friendly dog who enjoys pleasing people. 
it is important for the Irish setter to have activities or work to do. So he can keep his curious mind busy. Positive reward-based training approaches work best for him, but harsher heavy-handed punishments do not. Uppy training sessions and early socialization are suggested. Hunting, agility, dock diving, rally, tracking, and flyball are just a few of the canine activities in which Irish setters excel, and their sensitive temperament makes them ideal therapy and support dogs. Irish setters are noted for their intellect, as well as their independence and mischievousness. It takes a lot of patience and consistency to train them. Because this breed takes a long time to develop, you'll have a full-grown dog with puppy-like energy and activity levels for several years. The Irish setter should be fed high-quality dog food that is appropriate for its age and level of exercise. Discover which human foods are okay for dogs and which are not. And now the answer to the question from the beginning of the video. The early ancestors of the Irish setter were red and white before becoming a solid red. Congratulations. You have learned a lot today about such a wonderful breed as the Irish setter. To learn much more about dogs subscribe to my channel and watch other videos. Please hit the like button below and comment. Peace.